and we are live. <coughs> and we are live from San Francisco. No, I'm not in San Francisco. I'm in Fresno. If only I was in San Francisco. Respect band coming up. Tinker, finally. They should have done it in the second game and we may not even have a third game. But they didn't and we now have a third game. It's one apiece to Warlocks of the Beach and Team Z and respect Ben again on the Phoenix. He was excellent in the first game. Like back to a Ben on Void and X generic Ben that we see. Once again, we are back here for the third game between Warlocks of the Beach against Team Z. This is the playoffs for Season 6 of Amateur to the 2 League North American Entry Lever Tournament. And as usual, we are back here following Warlocks and we're into the picking phase and they make me horribly hungry by talking about a lot of food pre-game prior to the third game of course game starts at 5.30 in the afternoon and usually ends at 7.30 but we have the third game now so it's going all the way to 9.00 Vengeful Spirit will be the first pick, which is, has been banned previously, constantly. Vengeful Spirit is now finally being picked up in the lineup, and Tight Hunter 2, who which also has been banned out in the first two games, has been picked up finally. It will be an off lane. I'm not sure who's going off lane. Samuel went off lane the first game. Leroy went off game the second game. Off lane the second game. God. I'm blurring up a little bit, but Vengeful Spirit being picked up. Um, standard ganking team fight hero. Tidehunter, definitely a team fight hero. Doesn't really do. S okay, it, it does a lot during ganks. It is actually a better anti gang than anything else. But anyway, we're going to do a double pick from Team Z. We'll look at what they're going to pick right now. A lion will be picked up, so that's also a. Probably one of the best support right now that we have. Ganking teamfight orientated support. Excellent in the laning phase, excellent in teamfights, excellent in ganks, just needs to be nerfed. <laughs> Probably not, but I think it has a pretty high win rate, I guess. Silencer being picked up by Wallace of the Beach right here. Maybe a Rubin Silencer, maybe a legit Harry Silencer, I'm not particularly sure, but definitely a great anti team fight and team fight hero as well in the team fight and as well to set up, initiate. We have some crazy beautiful initiation from Bugaru and Kalina in the past game on the Enigma and the Disruptor respectively. Though he wasn't really disrupting team fights he was really just engaging into initiating team fights just excellent team play right there and honestly not too much coming out from the support of team Z um, nothing extra ordinary just some very technical early game entries coming out there well, I'm doing being banned out so will we see a sh well Doom's probably doesn't ring in a disruptor is being banned out <laughs> Might be even a respect ban or probably hinting towards a team fight orientated lineup from Team Z right here. Disruptor does cause a big problem during a team fight. And the follow up ban from Warlock will be Storm Spirit. Though I personally think Storm didn't have a very great game the last game. Then again, Team Z has an extremely versatile lineup. As you can see, the first and second game, Leroy went from, I believe he was solo mid to off lane, Shenmue from off lane to support, Big Booty from s support to hot carry, <laughs> International from hot carry to, well, hot carry and solo mid is arguably switchable most of the time. But he has a pretty versatile lineup over there. Shadow Fiend's being banned out as a fourth ban. We do see a Rubin playing pretty well in the Shadow Fiend. Though I do think his Tinker way is much much better than his Shadow Fiend. And mm, third pick. Awaiting the third pick from Team Z right now. 
I'm hungry. They were talking about cake, sandwiches, and all sorts of things. Viper being picked up as the third pick. Probably a mid hero. Viper definitely needs his level. Um, turns out it usually builds into just a tanky power mid that just tanks up damage and heals a lot, stays alive. Burst throws out a lot of poison and slow. Though it does work very well against the troll warlock that relies on a lot of this attack speed. Um, Viper has like the ultimate slows attack speed. Oh, Haskell would be picked up against a uh, corrosive skin slows attack speed and I think this slows attack speed too. Yes, it slows by 40. Um, slows by 80 over here, so it's 120 and 145. That's even more than um, than the PA blink. I think the PA blink is 120 attack speed. <coughs> anyway, a uh, Haskar would come here. Um, Haskar also, of course, relies a lot on attack speed and losing a lot of HP <laughs> to do, to gain a lot of attack speed. Uh, that's likely a, a, a Rubin Haskar. So we probably see a support silencer, I guess. I don't think silencer works very well off lane. We have an off lane. We already have a support, a mid. I think a juggernaut. A juggernaut should be a pretty good pick here for that. This juggernaut or a maybe a troll again. Though yeah, troll is probably pretty good deny pick ish. It's not that bad of a hero to pick up and it's you certainly do not want a vengeful spirit to be teamed together with a true warlock. But I'm probably looking for a hard carry and another support and AA on the other hand might be a better pick now than the last game. The A really didn't do didn't do much. They'll pick up their second support first. A trend protector will be picked up. So we have a trend protector, a viper, and AA might actually be a pretty good pick up for our even for Warlock, because Strength Protector heals a reasonable amount. Um, Mechanism is a key regeneration item for Viper. But Medusa will be picked up as a carry, so Silencer will go into the support Oscar onto the mid lane. And we have probably Kalina on the Vengeful Spirit and Vogaloo on the Silencer. Then we're looking for an off lane. Good off lane, probably set up Fikes of Cockwork might be a pretty good pick up right now. A clockwork or it's really nothing. A clockwork, a dark seer might be good, but it might backfire significantly because you don't want to put a tight hunter and a trend protector into you to just set up to to just massive ultimates on top of your whole team. But Central Warrior will be banned out as the fifth and final ban from Team Z. Though I don't think Sento is the hero that is a phantom assassin will be picked up the hero that relies more on dice roll than anything else 50% evasion and crazy crit and once again Medusa and Reaver will stay the same pick Chowser will go on through his Reaver off lane again and Legit Harry will get his Medusa which she has dominated the last game pretty 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 much and Rubin will go on his Haska. Kalina will go on the Silencer as <coughs> we have Bogaloo on the Vengeful Spirit on top lane we have <laughs> Bully Judy on the off lane Tidehunter now he went from support hard carry and now he's an off lane international <laughs> International from hard carry to mid lane to support Leroy from mid lane to off lane to support and Juicy from he played two games of support and he's now the mid lane Viper Shouser Samuel what what did I read 
Istanbul goes from a offlane to a support to a cat carry PA right now. Jalza will be going deep to ward out. Legit Harry just trying to de deny Big ba Big Booty Judy the opportunity to place down the ward to deny the pool. As you can see, both games, the teams that actually did really, really well just denying the pools. I'm leaving the bottom rune for the Medusa, I guess. Yeah, they will give it to the Medusa who looks like he will be going bottom. They will not give it to the mid anyway. They both give they both give their uh, the bounty runes to the close range support right now and he's having a hard time. The, the central one is dropped but they can't find a ward so it's probably suspecting he might he might drop a second sentry ward right here. He does drop the second sentry ward that's a good um there's pros and cons to dropping this ward here definitely you drop the ward here you don't get any vision from the ward but it's much harder to find so as you can see let me just show you it doesn't give you any vision whatsoever Spawns. What? Wait, what? I'm gonna be confused here, but yeah, that's one annoying thing about Lion. Definitely, reveals steal your mana, and Sukuchi will not have enough mana to stay in lane with Sukuchi to escape. And uh, Tidehunter being annoyed by the silencer definitely. Curse of the silence does. Is it curse of the silence? Yeah, curse of the silence works really, really well against him. You don't want to be spamming that spell too much out of position. And you don't want to be walking in. And first blood goes away of Juzi as he gets a kill on Haska right there. Not the best start for Rubin. That's me a great kill, but Vivo will get a kill onto the lion. He does not have mana to get out of this. He might be brought down as he will be punched. One more punch or one more dagger or something. Something. Dagger. Just enough to bring him down. And Samson will get the kill onto the river. But the offlaner gets a kill and he will be level 4 right now. The Juicy is being zoned out right now by the by Rubin simply because of low HP and just I like think healed up by the Tramp Protector. I guess probably that's the thing that saved him. I mean, doesn't exactly have a lot of damage right now compared to the Viper, which does a lot more damage during the low health. I don't know the more health missing the more damage the Viper does while Haska needs to rely on the low health so that's kind of ironic that it goes both ways. Um, when Tighthander being zoned up he is now level 4 and he to force himself back right now. Uh, Chowser just taking a slight lead after the kill right there. They're not exactly pooling are they? They're not pooling. 
I'm not sure why the creep still spawns, but throw that to mechanics knowledge is not good enough to know why it still spawns. Was it like a wrong position? Why aren't they denying creep? It's a big problem with the amount of heal that the Viper has. He is leading by a significant bit of um, just by a significant bit of last hit though Rubin. Oh he, he will miss that that range last truck though. Uh, do they have a sentry ward purchased up in an attempt to maybe get a gank up on him? No Lion's actually struggling really really badly right now. You better throw out more damage onto the PA. So Tidehunter is forced to relegate back into just ancient farming. Not even stacking. Ruben is at level 6 even after giving away the first blood in mid solo kill to the Viper and he does have the first blood this might be an opportunity to kill him right before he gets his level 6 Ultimate will be thrown out on both sides but they will be one for one Haskell gets the kill first so he does get the experience out of that so I guess it works better for him. Yes, the goal change is slightly more beneficial towards the Huskar and definitely the experience change. That puts him a level above the Viper. A full level above the Viper actually. 600 experience ahead of him. So, Alright, and Chao Zerga poking away. Denying the... just denying the ex experience right there. He will be popped out. Reward might be brought down but Chao doesn't want to stay to find out whether he could a one for one he does not have the mana to regen for that and he might be brought down right here and the sun will come out and Chelsea will be able to chain down and brought down right there uh, Rubin picks up a double damage and may look to clean things up he does have his ultimate ready and a double damage is a painful thing to deal with especially behind the Haskell Tidehunter is being zoned back completely going home right now. Well, they want to force this issue a little bit. Viper is also zoning up to the top lane. Tidehunter going back to regen gets his arcane boots. He's level 6. This is an extremely similar level, actually uh, about half a level behind on Chowser, just Chowser is about to get to level 7, he isn't. And a range coming in right here, no sentry wards whatsoever. Tight hunter actually, this is really really funny that <laughs> Leroy actually has no, no last hits or deny whatsoever. And Tide Hunter will return back to a, a, a level 6. Did he skill his Ravage? He does skill his Ravage. Stun's being thrown out right here. And a lot of harassment being thrown out onto the Tide Hunter. Not in range though for the Silent Search, we just throw more skills out onto him, which I don't think it's enough to bring him down. But I thought he will ganked up here onto the top. We'll look to bring this top tower down. But chips up a lot of pressure by half of the HP 600 HP being chipped off right there but then again a ruby is a free farming mid while they're attempting to push that top lane and he does get to chip a lot of HP off this tier 1 also about 600 more than that right now as he continues to chip this down as the creep bridge continue to push it Tanander continues to be relegated back to his why isn't he stacking? Why isn't Big Booty st stacking? I don't know. 
just some basic simple plays that isn't that great for now but miss a stack right there as Arubin continues to chip down to the middle tower and um, Team Z continue to chip up onto the top tower He does manage to connect the ultimate onto the GZ ultimate may throw out to Rubin but the flame maybe two or three more hits, one more hit. He's probably dead. He will go down and a Rubin will get the kill right there, but an ultimate right there, Bruiser comes in, Ravage shows up to ensure the kill, but looks like a Rubin will be able to get a double kill instead. That did not turn out well for <laughs> Team Z and Rubin going in for the Viper and gets a free gift. by one free one. Tight Hunter, who already isn't having the greatest game, is now giving away a second kill to Rubin, who is who gave away first blood and still managed to reach level six before the Viper. So <laughs> that's how well he's playing right now. He gave away first blood to the Viper in the solo one on one and was like a lever behind the Viper, and it's now actually three levers above the Viper. And actually more than, probably about more than 3, maybe about 2,000 experience above the Viper. Um, he might even be able to just jump on the Viper and kill the Viper right now. And he will jump on the Viper and kill the Viper right now. A lot of fire being thrown out. Maybe one more hit? Nope. The heal from Trent will come out and he will be able to stay alive from there. But a Bruin bin, aggressive, uh, notably aggressive because Viper really just isn't up for the challenge right now. Look, he just heals back up. And Viper has to pop pop herself. Viper is just really falling really really behind. Even the offlane reaver has more value than the Viper. That's how much a Rubin is winning his lane right now. That's one thing I don't like about lineups where your roles aren't consistent. Um, sometimes you, you, you really think you can play all the roles, but that just means you're a jack of all trades and you're a master of none. So that's what you get. You, you can play all the lanes, but you're not good at all the lanes. I, mean, I do think like if you want to take the game seriously and play at a higher level, you need to select a specific lane we should stick to or a specific role we should stick to. PA might be in trouble here. A Haste Huska. Not even a Trent is gonna save you now, you're dead. Oh, a blink and the... Ch okay, ironically the Trent does save him, but going from the bat, legit Harry will dive the tower. And the Trent actually stucks him there. An ultimate from the Medusa being popped up. He's being brought down really, really quickly. And Leroy will go down and Sam Wu will be just left behind to die to the Medusa. Two kills going the way of the Medusa to legit Harry. And Viper dies too actually. I think Viper dies mid. Where did Viper die? Viper dies solo to the river? Wait, the river is up here. I'm not sure where did the Viper die. Let's check where the Viper died. Oh, the Viper? What? <laughs> I didn't even know this. Maybe he TP in. Maybe he TP in and die or something. He TP in and didn't expect the whole gang to be there and then he died. Something like that. Who knows? Massive TP on the top tower. Ravage is ready. Ravage and massive massive TP right there. For TP they want to get Chowser. The stun will connect onto Chowser. He does have his ultimate. Hex being thrown out. Sucking out more. The ultimate being popped out. Sukuchi being used. Ravage will be thrown out. Catches in Vengeful Spirit and Chowser. Chowser is being brought right now. Bogalu continue to run away. But... Slow being thrown around to Bogaloo, not enough. Medusa will take the mid tower at the bottom and no kills right there. Ravage and everything being thrown out and the ultimate being thrown out onto Chowser. With the sentry ward drop, they will get the kill onto Chowser. At least they got something out with the massive TP. Five TPs being used, Ravage being used, Finger being used. One kill. They must get this tower, otherwise that would be a way too much investment to get a kill. And they will get a second for RQ on to Bogaru, who was lingering around to try to like distract a defense. So they will get two kills and a tower in response to the massive five-man TP, a Ravage and a Finger. 
So two ultimates and a five man TP for a tower and two kills. That's pretty good actually. That's a funny sentry while you drop. Oh, okay. This sentry is probably just dropped to while pushing the tower. They just get a stun and connect onto the Boogaloo. Sun being thrown out, but the crit coming up will ensure the kill on Boogaloo. Global silence being thrown out. I'm not too sure what for. Global Silence is now down for a really, really long time, and Silencer has no mana to sustain in the lane. He might be forced to go home. Rubin, uh, working towards a... F he does have his armlet now. Armlet. Legit Harry gets picked off right here. That's a major, major pick off and Legit Harry will go down. Is he a Kana PA? Global Silence is down, Medusa is down, but we'll be back up right now with an ultimate. So I'm not sure whether they're interested to push this lane with the Medusa's ultimate still being up. They do have Ravage and the whatever you got Overgrowth ready. So, but Medusa is going up to top lane to attempt to push the lane out more. Legit Harry will be chipping up some damage over here, but the whole row of Lions in position, PA is also in. Um, this doesn't look that great for them. Uh, Lion will come in and they will go on the silencer, which is an illusion. No TPs coming in though, as Bogaloo. As we've been thrown out right there, PA just stands still, but turns into stone. Did he DC? It now PA manages to throw away all growth being thrown out right now, Medusa being brought to really really low, Swap being used up to try to save the Medusa who will still go down. Charles is in position now to try to chase down the PA though, but they will not pursue. So they will get legit Harry for... and manages to force the Stone Gaze and the... Global Silence out, but looks like they will lose the top tower. I don't think they'll be able to defend the top tower but much. Um, Tidehunter is getting really, really close. He, he definitely gets his Bling Dagger right now. He just need to walk back to base and gets the Bling Dagger. Looking for a crit, no crit, and oh, they're being thrown out right there. Bling being thrown out, but PA brought that really, really low. PA will probably die right here. And ultimately, probably a good for two, or PA might not actually die, and they would be a tree. They get a tower, but they get three kills in return. That's an excellent team fight right there from Team Z. Legend Harry seems to like his standard two Rave Band and a two Rave Band and a ring into Casual Yasha, then Strix Scuddy. Looks like they want to engage onto Legit Harry right now. A lot of TPs coming in, Chelsea. They do have Ravage up and ready. Viper will come in, and a lot of damage being thrown out right now. Stone Gates being thrown out. No one starts to stone, but the poison will be able to slow him down. No stun coming out. Rubin in position to chase, but four of them, they will dive. 
No ravish just yet. More ravish damage. Make sure our ravish now being used. Stop. Kalina in position, but Legend Harry manages to get away. Viper Beast brought down at the back. Stunner PA over extension here. Swap on the PA into the T T2, and PA will be brought down. Hey, no bird. That's weird. Um. Anyway, Leroy will stay back here to die, and PA manages to blink onto the Tight Hunter. Chowser is in definite position to just chase down the PA right from here. So that's an overextension of the legit Harry, which they failed to kill. Amazingly, they failed to kill him. I thought he was done for. But it looks like they get two kills in return. They might be able to get the kill on. Sakuchi is just being thrown out. It's probably lasts for another two to three seconds. Does he have a double hit? He does have a double hit. That's about 100 damage, negating the 20%. It's about 160. He should be able to buy that as long as the PA doesn't dodge anything. Does have an armor reduction coming out? Global silence being thrown out. Silencer. What is what is what is the lion doing? PA is dead. <laughs> So it will be 3 kills going the way of uh, Warlords of the beach right there as they manage to crawl their, um, get a very good team fight out there managing to save Legit Harry and getting 3 kills in return. Over extension there so they try to dive the T3 for the Medusa. Yes I would have dived the T3 I felt like we get, got to get the kill right there but somehow they didn't. And they didn't even use a global silence right there. The global silence was safe for very very late when it was using to chase the PA down. A stun work her next entry was being dropped down. And ultimate being used, he will go the other way. And Charles uses his ultimate to stay alive and Hex being thrown out. They might even get a kill on the lion and turn around right here. Uh, Lion is dead for sure. Lion will go down and slow to drinking. Wow, what what is that? TP and Chowser managed to get away. An engagement onto Chowser will turn around and instead they will get a kill onto the lion. And Chowser managed to get away though he did pop his ultimate up. Right there, Rubin just farming the mid lane up. And once again, they rotate the whole team up trying to get a kill on Legit Harry who will be TPing out. And PA is still chasing and will find nothing at all. Big rotation there, three, three man rotation. Though two of them, uh, support and a core actually, two cores. They do ping him out, the whole dire team is TPing in, they know this rotation is going on. They do see it with the one right here. And the Medusa and Chowser, uh, Legit Harry and Chowser here pushing into the top lane. It's not sure whether it's bait or something. They know the whole team went in there. Billy Booty comes in, he throws out. Ultimate waves available. Stone Gaze being thrown right out. And, and the Global Silence being popped up to save them. And now with the whole team down, they seem to feel comfortable to go in and get the Roshan. Though they must remember, Ravish and Overgrowth is still both up. So I'm not sure whether it is the best position to engage onto. But Chowser looks like he's just going to push the top lane. Ultimate being used up right there, re-engagement by Ultimate onto the Booty, Booty will go down onto a Rubin, he will be burned out alive, Overgrowth catches Kalina on the back, and not much beyond that, Marissa picks up Lion on the back right here, stun up onto the PA, and just a lot of dodge coming up from the PA, trying to stay alive right now, a lot of damage, very very close but not dead. Chowser on the back, maybe able to pick up onto the PA, he knows the PA is over there somewhere, Will not be able to fight a PA as the PA blinks away the safety onto the train protector. But Chelsea will be able to get this tower, I believe. Now with three of them down, that, that was a really, really good team fight. Um they did secure Roshan per se. 
I don't think they have enough firepower to get Roshan now, but they will be able to take a significant amount of damage onto the T2. And what's being dropped down to ensure the safety of the push to ensure the safety of the push and it looks like they, they might even be able to just take the whole thing. Massive TP coming in, triple quadruple TP being shown out right there. PA all interested to find a silencer who has been lingering and going away, but they will not be able to do that. Tidehunter asking them to come back. It's like, come back. We want to push this bottom tower. We want this T2. It's not pretty spread out. Two of the, two of the dire heroes, I admit. Uh, PA going into the jungle, walking into the Medusa. We will have a fight. Looks like Medusa will go down, but before it goes down, you will pick off the PA. And a lot of hunt, a lot of. I mean, that's weird. Why didn't it take any damage? <laughs> Engagement onto the Medusa will cost the life of. That's just sad. They don't. The Silencer does not do enough damage. <laughs> Silencer does not do enough damage to kill the Tide Hunter. That is really, really cute right there. So being affected by the anchor smash could not do enough damage, could deal doing zero damage on the Tide Hunter, couldn't bring him down until he turns on to Grave of Wisdom, I believe. Or maybe it's just because the anchor smash wears off. More pushing coming up. As Chelsea continues to push up the wave and allow the creep wave to just chip a little bit of damage. Catapult managed to stay alive for the next wave of creep to come in. And Lincoln Spear, as you can see, is already out! Chelsea are being caught in position. Ultimate being popped right here, but he is in a bad position right now. He is, he is walking towards and away. They cannot catch him, and Arumi is actually taking Roshan while four of them are trying to chase him right here. It will be hilarious when they turn a big round. Suddenly, Arumi has an Aegis and comes out on him. Arumi is about to go down too, though. Rubin will bring the Roshan down and will take the Roshan, uh, will take the Aegis. He will get the Aegis and now we have a pushing team. They would probably not want to push this up right now, but Medusa will be TP into the top lane. Huska of course leading the, the chart right now, but Medusa very very close to his Scuddy. Actually I think he has, she has a Scuddy already. Yeah, she does have a Scuddy, she just need to go and buy it right now. They'll give a lot of EHP. Bug will be in cut off positions, say hex up and stun. He probably will go down before anything much happened, but I don't even use that Lincoln Spear popped on Chowser. Medusa has the Scotty. A lot of EHP right now, adding a lot of ma a lot of mana, and of course if you know mana is equal to HP for Medusa. So EHP going up by a significant bit. And I am extremely, extremely hungry. <laughs> I should eat before I start casting next week. Trend Protector continue to try to heal up as much tower as as much of his tower as possible though the bottom tower is very very close. Global Silence is being popped up in an attempt to save Legit Harry, but Legit Harry will they will just turn their back on him. Such disrespect. But 
A Ruby will attempt a pick off from the back and the ultimate it turns around. Silencer gets a kill onto the oh they get a kill on the courier too. Lion and a courier. <laughs> They ever managed to bring down Ryan and a courier. Once again, they jump on legit Harry and they get killed in return. Maybe it's time to pick on someone else. <laughs> like, their attempt to jump on Burgaloo have turned out much better than their attempt to jump on legit Harry. I think every time, almost every time they jump on legit Harry, they just somehow don't kill him and manage to lose a lot of their heroes. Tidehunter is actually trying to TP in, but it will go down with a Ravage, Ravage being thrown out, Global Silence is down, Stone Gaze is also down, Stun being thrown out into the PA, attacking onto the guy with the PA, and the PA is being extremely tanky right now, just a lot of dodge, dodge light right now, Legit Harry is actually out of mana, PA will be burned down alive, ultimate from the Lion will bring down, and the ultimate onto the... A Ruby just jumping onto the Viper and bringing him down. Buyback on from Trent Protector. A Ruby will get a double kill. Actually, a triple kill. He gets all three. Oh, yeah, he did burn PA down right there. So much skill being thrown on just to bring down Legit Harry, and they lost three. This should really pick on someone else. <laughs> but I guess you need to bring down the Medusa. But every time you throw so much things onto the Medusa, Ruby is just right beside there to just kill you off. And now Chowser is just solo picking up here. Does not have his ultimate and none of and none of that's being popped up right there. And the Lincoln's free will pop back up to evade the Earth Spike. And a big forward and a hex being thrown out. Okay, he's dead. But the date means that they get a T3 on the top, maybe even a lane of Rex. And Rubin's still very, very healthy. This is probably his optimum level of HP right now. At about 6, 40 to 60 percent, is probably the, the, the area where he has the best attack speed, best magic resistance. As it's not to say best, but optimum. And it looks like he's interested to go back in onto Big Booty. And Big Booty will be thrown out and burn alive. He does have fire, but he will go down and he will die down right there. And the Aegis will pop back up. Looks like the mech will save him. And a throw in right there, not connecting. The Curse of the Sun is not connecting on anyone actually. I actually thought Rubin would just jump back in, but he did not. Well, let's just have a quick look at their items. Oh, that, that's a beautiful line of boots. Everyone has a power threat. Amazingly. Uh, mechanism on, to, on the silencer, probably working towards a roll of Atos. I believe. Roll of Atos makes sense on the silencer. Um, I have Scuddy out, a casual Yasha, working towards. Uh, definitely working towards an MKB because you have a PA on the other hand, Medallion on the on Bugaloo, BKB, and. Probably MKB too. Demon H being picked up by uh, Rubin. Probably an MKB to deal with the PA too. He has been dodging a lot, though just not enough. He needs to be dodging 100% to stay alive in this much of attack. Chowser picking up a Lincoln Spear, as we have seen it in action, and also the Desolator, as we have seen. Two Bling Daggers on the side of Zed, we international with a Bling Dagger on Lion, and uh, Big Booty Judy also has his. Uh, dagger, bling dagger, and what do you say? Four stuff right there. Uh, mechanism and a casual Yasha on the Viper by Juzi. Though I think Viper usually goes into a Yasha instead of just a casual. It usually goes into a Manta instead of a casual. Uh, Leroy or no particular item, just a support. Um, of course, PA. Played by Shambu, definitely the most farmed hero on their side right now, has a better fury, that's it. Once again, we have the same situation with the last game that we've seen, the top 5 net worth has 4 of the 
four of Wizards Hero and the Earth Spike will miss. This is not a good position to be calling as the International will be brought down. Ravage being thrown up just to save the International. Global Sun has been thrown up to ensure that Harry will be able to retreat from this safely and maintain a high amount of mana and HP so that they can continue pushing into the lane. The creeps are coming up. It wants to chip. Once a chip, he will be able to chip down on this tower because there's there's creeps on the top lane here. As Phantom said, he will get a kill onto the Phantom as, oh sorry, onto Bogaru, but they will lose the full lanes of Rex down with Desolator decreasing the armor. They do not have Ravage up right now. The blink in will be a death of him. And Big Booty will be burst down extremely quickly. Ultimate being thrown up. Stone Gaze turns PA into Stone and PA will be brought down. This is probably GG right here. PA go down, no buyback. Lion buys back, but I'm not too sure what's it for. Definitely two lanes of Rex. Top Rex is already down. And actually the top Rex will be brought down by the... Top Rex will likely be brought down by the creeps alone, but they won't. Legit Harry going out, no mana though. He does not have any more mana left here, but he will push the creep the wave in as they look to chip down random buildings and creep wave is in so no backdoor protection anymore uh, i'm not sure what's this for uh, okay that's a really really late uh, team fight and this looks like a full lane of rex and that will be mega creep no gg being caught just yet and lots of Aethos being thrown out right there as predicted, but he as, as predicted that he would get it. He will go down and International will go down. No dodge, no miss, no miss chance. Chaozo will pull out ultimate Arubin jumping in and just fighting everyone. Man fighting everyone right there. And PA still has a crazy amount of dodge and Arubin looking to just bring down the Chaozo forced to back up right now, the Harry does not actually have the mana to fight, so I don't think they're in a position to fight. This might turn out pretty bad for them, though the tower is being chipped really, really low. Swap being thrown up, the Jiharry might should bring down the two supports. And Chaozo is the only one left alive right now. He looks like he wants to go for the PA, and he will be able to get the PA, but he will go down. Uh, will he be able to get big booty? He will even get a big booty. There are double kill going towards him as the creeps continue to chip down onto the end. Viper will get a dominating kill, but the ancient will be brought down by the creeps. And that is the third game going the way of Wizards of the Beach. It is 2 to 1, and Wizards will progress in the playoff. Some really, really good games coming up here. And Wizards will progress in the playoff. And Z, Team Z is now knocked out. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you next week.